Welcome to the Pointless Resistant Materials Revision Exercise, where popular answers mean nothing and obscure answers mean everything. If you've seen the TV programme before, you know the idea. So I've asked 100 people various resistant materials questions, and all you've got to do is to try and guess the least popular answer. You'll need to get yourself a pen and something to write on, uh, and write down your answers as we go through the questions. When you hear this noise, pause the video and write down your answer. OK, are you ready? Here we go. I asked 100 people to name the three types of computer-aided manufacturing systems we have in school. What was the least popular or pointless answer? Laser cutting was the top at 67%, knife cutting 29 and router cutting 4%. So give yourself the score of the equivalent percentage next to the answer that you got. Obviously the lower the score the better. Next question. I asked 100 people to name the main properties of metals. What was the least popular or pointless answer? Hardness was the top one at 34%, toughness 31 right the way down to malleability at 1%. So if you've got malleability, well done. Next question. I asked 100 people to name the four types of mechanical motion. What was the least popular or pointless answer? Linear was the top answer at 40%. Oscillating was the least popular answer at 2%. So well done if you got that one. I asked 100 people to name the main types of metal heat treatment. What was the least popular answer or the pointless answer? Annealing was the top answer at 38%. Hardening 28, tempering 21, case hardening was quite low at 13, and we've got normalising at 0%, which was a pointless answer. So well done if you got that one. I asked 100 people to name manufacturing production methods. What was the least popular or pointless answer? Match production was the most popular answer at 50% and uh, if you manage to come up with the answer continuous flow production, well done because that is a pointless answer and you score zero. Next question. I asked 100 people to name an adhesive used to glue dissimilar materials together. What was the least popular or pointless answer? Epoxy resin was the top answer at 76% and well done if you got contact adhesive because uh, you scored two on that, which was a, a good answer. Next question. I asked 100 people to name popular non-ferrous metals. That's metals that don't contain iron. What was the least popular or pointless answer? Aluminium was the most popular answer at 30%, going all the way down to zinc, which was 5%, and we've got a pointless answer right down at the bottom there, which was bronze. So well done if you've got that one. I asked 100 people to name a type of English hardwood. What was the least popular or pointless answer? OK, these were the answers. So oak was the most popular at 82%, ash at 11 beech at 9 and uh, we've got a pointless answer there, which is elm at 0. There's lots and lots of other answers. Uh, look up your answer, and if it is correct, then give yourself 0, a pointless answer. Next question. I asked 100 people to name the advantages of CAD-CAN. 
What was the least popular or pointless answer? Top answer was that it's more accurate. You can also replicate identical items again and again, which was the second answer. You can edit work easily, 17%. Uh, it's quicker, 2%. And again, we've got a pointless answer there. Okay, once you've drawn your idea, you can uh, you can orbit around it and view it from different angles. So well done if you got that. Next question. I asked 100 people to name the disadvantages of CAD CAM. What was the least popular or pointless answer? Top answer was not very expensive to buy, 78%. Second was you have to train people to use it. You can lose work that's stored electronically, 10%. Uh, and again, we've got a pointless answer at the bottom there. Can be environmentally unfriendly. So well done if you got that answer. Next question. I asked 100 people to name the main finishes we can apply to wood. What was the least popular or pointless answer? Top answer on 49% was polyurethane varnish. We've got wax coming in at 24%. Uh, and we've got a pointless answer there at the bottom, which is French polish. Uh, there are other correct answers. Look your answer up if it's not there. And if you are correct, then give yourself a pointless answer. I asked 100 people to name the different ways of joining metals using heat. What was the least popular or pointless answer? Arc welding or stick welding came in at the top at 34%. MIG welding came in second at 25 uh, And we've got a couple of pointless answers down there. We've got hard soldering and silver soldering, which were pointless. So well done if you got those answers. I asked 100 people to name the things that need to be addressed for good design. What was the least popular or pointless answer? Aesthetics came in top, 34%. Ergonomics, 29 And we've got a pointless answer at the bottom there. So well done if you've got anthropometrics. Uh, and give yourself a big fat zero for that one. Any other answers uh, that are pointless and you know they're correct, then give yourself zero. Next question. I asked 100 people to name some smart materials they might meet in D&T. What was the least popular or pointless answer? Thermochromatic ink came top with 42. Photochromatic ink came second with 26. And we've got a couple of pointless answers at the bottom. Nanotechnology and hydrochromatic ink. Both of those answers were pointless, so well done if you got those. I asked 100 people to name the saws we use in the workshop. And that's saws that only pupils can use. So what was the least popular or pointless answer? Tenon saw came top with 42%, coping saw second with 41%, uh, and right down the bottom there we've got a pointless answer of a junior hacksaw, so well done if you've got that one. I asked 100 people to name the most popular wood joints. What was the least popular or pointless answer? Dovetail was the top one at 32%, Mortis and Tenon second with 31%, uh, and we've got uh, a pointless answer there of a bridle joint. If you've got any other joints that aren't, uh, aren't down on that list, uh, look them up, and if you're correct, give yourself a pointless answer. So that's the end of the quiz. How well did you do? Add up all your scores, and obviously the lower the score, the better the score. Well done and thanks for doing the quiz.